Hello YouTube, it's Jasmine. I just got done with a photo shoot and I figure I have time to make a video. A lot of you know nothing about me. A lot of you don't know who I am or what I do and I found this kind of questionnaire thing off of Tumblr because I'm still 14 and depressed at heart and I figure I would go through the questions with all of you. There are 70 questions. I don't know if I'll do all of them, but I'm just gonna start. Do you have a good relationship with your parents? Yes, I do. I love them. They are great, hardworking people, and I'm really fortunate to have parents that I kind of get along with most of the time. Sometimes they're really annoying. Two, who did you last say I love you to? My little sister Jordan, because she is the best person on God's green earth, and I do love her, and I look up to her, and she's like the, the shit. She's the best. Number three, do you regret anything? Sometimes I think I regret things, but then when I think about who I am today, I'm like, damn, I wouldn't have had this if I didn't do that. And that includes like going to really shitty colleges and wasting my money on a degree that I don't use and dating people who were horrible for me. Everything's a lesson. Everything has a silver lining. Like if I didn't go to the shitty, shitty college I went to, I wouldn't have my best friend in the entire world. And I love that bitch. Four, are you insecure? I think everybody's insecure. Some of us are just a little bit better at hiding. We all have insecurities. There's no way around it. Five, what is your relationship status? I am single and kind of loving it. You know, I kind of hate it sometimes because you just want to snuggle someone and like not have anything attached to it. But at the same time, like I don't have to tell anyone anything. Like I can take a dump and I don't have to apologize for the smell. I can spend money. I don't have to tell anybody what I'm spending my money on. Weird shit like that. I'm really grateful for. Six, how do you want to die? I want to die quickly. I don't want to die slow. I don't want to die by any super painful thing. I don't want to drown. Anything that like is going to be torturous, count me the hell out. But if you like shot me in the head, cool, I'm done, out, perfect. What did you last eat? I last ate rice cake with peanut butter and jelly on it. Did I play any sports growing up? I played so many sports, soccer, basketball, like football, I ran track, a volleyball. I tried to play everything I could, but sports cost money. And sometimes we ain't got money when we're kids. Do you bite your nails? Never, I think it's gross. My best friend Victoria <laughs> bites her nails and they're like little stubs and no, no thank you. I have different things that I do that are probably just as annoying and gross. When was your last physical fight? Never, one time my sister and I got into it and I popped that bitch's lights out. But yeah, never, I don't fight physically like I'm a fucking barbarian that's barbaric and weird use your words do you like someone I do he does not like me <laughs> story of my life I also think that's like karma because well for obvious reasons have you ever stayed up for 48 hours I don't think I've ever reached the 48 hour mark but god that would be awful I can't even imagine staying up for like 16 hours without taking a nap do you hate anyone at the moment no I don't. I don't have time for that. Do you miss someone? I always miss people. I think wherever you are in the world, even being on the world, you miss people. Do you have any pets? I have a dog named Chinook. She lives at home with my parents. That's it. My other dog passed away, but Chinook is still kicking. Go Shooky. How exactly are you feeling at the moment? I feel pretty good right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's like weighing on my head, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just continuing on living my life. Have I ever made out in a bathroom? Yes. How my mom does this, they do. Are you scared of spiders? Not really, but I'm like, I get so grossed out when they run. Like it just freaks me out. Nothing should be that fast. It's creepy. Would you go back in time if you were given a chance? Probably not because I think it would change the present and the future and like I don't even want to deal with that. Like I've seen Back to the Future too many times to know shit gets messed up and we aren't about that. Where was the last place you snogged someone? Snogging is making out I think in British English in a bed? I don't know. What are your plans for this weekend? I don't have any plans for this weekend. It's too far away. Live in the moment, baby. Just kidding, I don't have any plans for this weekend. Do you want to have kids? How many? I do want to have children. I would want four, but now that I'm getting older, I'm like, dang, one would be okay. I. They're so damn expensive. I don't know how people afford them. Do I have piercings? How many? I have my ears pierced. I think I have like four on one side, three on the other. What is, are, were your best subjects? I think this means in school. I was decent at English because I was okay at writing. Math was always kind of easy until it wasn't. I wasn't particularly excellent in any subject, but you know, things are whatever. I think other people would disagree. Do you miss anyone from your past? Of course I miss people from my past, but life goes on, man. I can't, I can't dwell on that shit. What are you craving right now? Poke? Literally any type of sushi. I'm just like in a seafood mood and I'm poor, so I can't go get it. Have you ever broken someone's heart? 
yes and I don't even want to elaborate on that because it was sad and I feel bad about it still. Have you ever been cheated on? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I had this idea that it was happening and I broke up with the guy and then afterwards he told me it happened. So yeah, I was cheated on and it was fucking awful. But sometimes I see that girl around Anchorage and she's doing nothing with her life and it makes me like kind of have a little bit of joy but also, dude, I feel bad for you. Have you ever made a boyfriend girlfriend cry? Yeah, I have intentionally and unintentionally. What's irritating you right now? What isn't irritating me right now? Um, there's a guy outside like moaning and that's kind of irritating, but other than that, like nothing. Yeah. Yeah, see, he just won't shut up. Does somebody love you? Plenty of somebody's love me. What is your favorite color? I love all the colors. I'm like one of those people, I love the whole spectrum. I like poop brown and I like bright pink but my preferred colors are pink, blue, and green. Do you have trust issues? <laughs> yes, who doesn't in this day and age? It's kind of like insane because we're all these like scared little babies and we don't wanna be caught being vulnerable. So trust is like hard to come by. I hand mine out because I like to be vulnerable and I know that in being vulnerable you get things back. But damn, some people give you a reason not to trust them. It's insane. Who, what was your last dream about? Can't remember. Who was the last person you cried in front of? My sister over FaceTime, that lucky dog. Do you give out second chances too easily? To some people, yes, and to other people, no. Some people deserve second chances and I don't give them the second chance, and then some people do not deserve second chances and I give them a hundredth chances. Is it easier to forgive or forget? Uh, forgive, forgetting is like not, I cannot forget anything. I, I, do you really forgive if you don't forget? I don't know. Is this year the best year of my life? God, I fucking hope not. That would be crazy. I, if this is the best year of my life, I desperately hope that when it turns to 2020, I get hit by a train. Like right then. How old were you when you had your first kiss? I think I was 14 with this boy who was like a skater that went to a different school and it was disgusting and I hated myself for it. And then he ended up dating like a girl that was really close to me later on in life. And I think he's like married with a couple kids now. Have you ever walked outside completely naked? No, but sometimes damn I'm tempted because it's so hot. Favorite food? I love Taco Bell. Is that considered its own food? I love Taco Bell. I could eat Taco Bell any day. Do you believe everything happens for a reason? Yes, and sometimes reasons are bad. Like sometimes things can happen and the reason can be shitty. What is the last thing you did before you went to bed last night? I ate some potato chips. Is cheating ever okay? Fuck no. No, it's not. Get the divorce, break up with a person, don't cheat. Cause you just like ruin that person's trust and you fuck them up for whatever's next. Don't cheat, it's fucked up. I understand it sometimes because people can be garbage and you don't know how to get out of a situation without like crumbling them. But uh, try not to. Are you mean? Sometimes, yeah, I mean. At least I'll admit it. How many people have you fist fought? Zero. My brother beat the shit out of me one time and then my sister and I get into it every like 10 years. So you're coming up on a whopping Jordan. Do you believe in true love? Yes. Favorite weather, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. The hotter it is, the better. Like, I love hot, dry heat. Humidity, no, but like dry heat, my wheelhouse, baby. Do you like the snow? Nope, I don't. And I was raised in Alaska, so I can say that. I've given it a fair shake. Fuck you, snow. Do you wanna get married? Yes, I do, I do. Uh. Is it cute when a boy girl calls you baby? I think it's cute when a man calls me baby. What makes you happy? Oh, so many things. I love comedy. Oh my God, just everything. I love puppies, I love the sunshine. I, so many things make me happy. So many things make me sad. I'm just running the human life. Would you change your name? <laughs> no, I love my name, Jasmine. Would it be hard to kiss the last person you kissed? No, but I don't think he'd want to. Your best friend of the opposite sex likes you. What do you do? I continue living my life, baby, because when has that not happened? Do you have a friend of the opposite sex who you can act your complete self around? Yes, I do, and his name is Casey Privet, and he has been my best friend for a very long time. Who was the last person of the opposite sex you talked to? This photographer I just had named Kevin, and he was absolutely like one of the coolest people I've ever met. Who's the last person you had a deep conversation with? Probably Kevin still, like he was fucking awesome. He was deep, he was thoughtful, he was eloquent. I was like, this guy's the shit. So we had a deep conversation and he's the last person of the opposite sex I talked to. Do you believe in soulmates? Yes, I do. And I believe in soulmates for multiple reasons. Like you can have like a music soulmate, a soulmate from middle school. Like there are so many different soulmates in different times and different parts of your life, like different facets. Is there anyone you would die for? I would die for 
absolutely any of my siblings would take a bullet for them like that I would die for my niece I'd probably die for my mom and dad even though I know they would not let that happen I would die definitely for my older brothers and my little sister and my niece and probably like a few of my friends I would just like be like yeah I'm taking it for the team anyways that has been so many questions about me in my life and yeah I just want to let you guys know some shit about me tell me about you do the 70 questions yourself remember to like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys later